Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Drone company fined $200,000 by the FAA. Sandia SAI 340 display gets an upgrade. Santa Monica Airport does have some local support. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's January 19th and this is Airborne Unlimited. A settlement agreement has been reached between the FAA and drone operating company Skypan International of Chicago. The agreement resolves enforcement cases occurring between 2012 and 2014 that allege the company operated unmanned aircraft in congested airspace over New York City and Chicago and violated airspace regulations and aircraft operating rules. Under the terms of the agreement, Skypan will pay $200,000 civil penalty. Additional penalties apply if the company fails to comply with the terms of the settlement agreement. The agreement settles original enforcement cases involving a $1.9 million civil penalty that the FAA proposed October 2015. The alleged violations occurred at a time when commercial drone operators were required to operate under a certificate of waiver. Skypan also agrees to work with the FAA to release three public service announcements in the next 12 months to support the FAA's public outreach campaigns that encourage drone operators to learn and comply with drone regulations. The FAA has granted Sandia Aerospace an additional technical standard order authorization, commonly simply referred to as a TSO, on their popular SAI 340 Quattro multifunction indicator. In addition to indicating attitude, altitude, airspeed, and slip, the SAI 340 is now TSO to allow indicating instantaneous vertical speed. This sort of instrumentation is commonly referred to as an IVSI. Unlike a standard vertical speed indicator that has a 6 to 8 second lag when indicating vertical speed changes, the SAI 340 IVSI gives virtually immediate vertical speed indications. The vertical speed is shown on the SAI 340 in both a tape and digital format. In addition to the adding of the IVSI, the new software version also adds an adjustable altitude bug. Existing SAI 340 operators can arrange to have their units upgraded to the latest software by contacting the Sandia Aerospace Service Department. After the break, Santa Monica resident supports the airport. The dream is real. A truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit plus engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. It appears there are supporters for Santa Monica Airport who live in Santa Monica. In a letter to the editor sent to the Santa Monica Lookout News newspaper, writer Bill Warden says that the city cannot close the airport due to agreements made with the U.S. government. Warden writes that those who have followed this story know that the city agreed to maintain the property as an airport forever when it was handed back over following World War II. He further holds that a second agreement between the city and the FAA in 1984 does not say the city can close the airport in 2015. According to Warden, it does not address the obligation of the city to continue to operate the airport beyond that date. The intent was to renegotiate an agreement between airport users and the city in 2015, which he says has not occurred. 
Warden also believes that the city cannot close the airport in 2023 when its obligations under an AIP grant expire because it is not specifically mentioned in the grant award. There's more to come about the issues at Santa Monica Airport, and we'll keep you posted. It's Thursday, which means it's time for an Aero Community Update, highlighting news and information about the incredible people and organizations that participate with our Airborne Partnership Initiative behind Airborne Unlimited. The Unmanned Vehicle Systems International Organization, better known as AUVSI, says their mission is to shape global policy by advocating on behalf of unmanned systems and robotics community, monitoring legislation and assessing the global impact of the industry to ensure that obstacles to advancing and fielding these technologies are removed. Now the Aero News Network, in support of their mission, has teamed with AUVSI to create the Exponential Innovation Preview to highlight the expected news at AUVSI's Exponential 2017, the world's largest conference and exhibition devoted entirely to unmanned systems and robotics. It all kicks off on May 8th and runs through the 11th in Dallas, Texas this year. The Exponential Innovation Preview is a multi-hour program offering three to four minute online multimedia presentations that will give a glimpse of the new products and latest innovations that will be on display at Exponential 2017. It will be posted and distributed to dozens of venues and syndication outlets starting the week before the event and will be available on AUVSI's website Aero News Network, YouTube, Vimeo, and other channels for sharing, viewing, linking, and embedding. AUVSI's Exponential will feature more than 650 exhibitors from multiple domains and industries. If you can't be there, ANN will bring it to you. After these messages, the FAA issues emergency AD for Sikorsky S-92 helicopters. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, Bree Cross is going to summarize some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call around the patch. Thanks, Laura. The FAA has issued an emergency AD for Sikorsky S-92A helicopters with the TRPCS assembly that has less than 80 hours time in service with bearings that were manufactured prior to November 3, 2016. The issue is the occurrence of tail rotor loss of control. Kona International Airport in Hawaii has been renamed to Ellison Onizuka Kona International Airport. Onizuka was one of the seven crew members that perished when the Challenger Space Shuttle was lost in a launch accident in January 1986. According to a study that ranked the stress level of various jobs, the job of an airline pilot came in third. Eleven areas of stress were cited for airline pilots in the report, and being in an airplane was not the most stressful item. Aircraft brokerage firm JBA Aviation has announced the appointment of John Taylor to president of JBA Aviation Inc. The company reports that Mr. Taylor brings a strong technological and aviation background to his new leadership position. Embraer has signed a contract with Weederflu, the largest regional airline in Scandinavia, for up to 15 E-2 family jets. The order has a potential list price value of up to $873 million if all orders are converted. Well, that's the trip around the patch. Back to you, Laura. Thanks, Bree. Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 vanished from radar nearly three years ago, leaving the world wondering what happened to the Boeing 777 on a flight from Beijing to Kuala Lumpur. The world may now never know. Malaysian, Chinese, and Australian officials 
issued a joint statement Tuesday saying they had done all they can to locate the missing airliner and the search was being indefinitely suspended. To date, the search effort has cost $145 million. The official said in the statement, quote, Despite every effort using the best science available, the search has not been able to locate the aircraft. The decision to suspend the underwater search has not been taken lightly, nor without sadness. Malaysia Airlines says that it believes the search has been thorough and comprehensive, and it stands guided by the decision of three governments to suspend the search. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.